Unmanned set and probe showing an irregularity. Well, let's have a look. Are you picking up anything unusual on your telemeters? I don't think so. Wait. There does seem to be some sort of shapeless object forming on the blunt end. Can you identify it? No. There's definitely something clinging to the returning spacecraft. And it's getting bigger. Keep checking. I've got it. It's definitely moving on the outer skin of the vehicle. And it looks like it could be alive. risk allowing a hostile life form to reach the Earth. Could be dangerous to all of us. Let me have your attention, please. We picked up an exobiological form on the space probe. I'm going to forego the planned re-entry orbits and bring the craft into a penetration re-entry. That'll give us a maximum burn-off. We may lose the instrumentation capsule, but we must kill whatever that is clinging to it. Wilson? The re-entry will bring it down in the secondary recovery area of Baker's sector. What's the nearest ship? Sea view? Alert them to start recovery. Just came in, sir. Very well. Here are the coordinates for the splashdown. Proceed at emergency speed. Yes, sir. Through the blackout period, I can read the oscillator signal. Good. What's the profile look like? Looks clean. Thank heavens. Drogue chute deployed. Main chute. in the automatic flotation collar. The capsule is sinking. Sea View, take emergency action to recover the capsule. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Starring Richard Basehart. David Hedison. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Captain. Increasing. We must be coming over the capsule. Very well. All stop, Mr. Morton. All stop. Missile room. Missile room, aye. Chief, have a party of divers stand by to recover the capsule. Aye, aye, sir. Depth to bottom, Mr. Morton. 820 feet, sir. Very well. Take it down and hold 300 feet over the capsule. Aye, sir. Take her down. All set, Chief. Aye, aye, sir. The winch is manned and ready. Good. Follow me and stick close. I'll be in voice communication with the ship at all times. Please, make sure there's nothing on that capsule before you get too close. I understand. Right, good luck.
cable that we paid out? 240 feet. That should be pretty close, Admiral. Savior, this is Crane. Do you read me? Loud and clear, Captain. We've got the capsule inside. Is it clean? Negative. It's covered with a huge growth of some kind. But is the growth moving? Does it seem to be alive? I can't tell. We'll move in closer and see what we can find out. get too close again. We can't bring the capsule aboard until that uh, creature's dead. How do we kill it? We fired a spear into it and it hardly react. Space Center thinks it can be burned off. I'm sending down some torches. See if they have any effect. All right, Admiral. All right, Kowalski, bring up the hook. Aye, aye, sir. Bear a hand here. I want three assessment burning rigs on the double. Coming up, get below and tie those torches to the hook and sing out as soon as they're secure. sign of it. Are you sure, Lee? We've scarred the capsule, Admiral. All right. Make fast to the hook and signal when you're ready. Aye, sir.
All secure. Take her up. All right, Kowalski. Hi, sir. The cable's taking the strain nicely. It's all yours. I'm coming in. Capsule coming in slow and steady, sir. Very well, I want all our decontamination gear made ready. The minute that capsule hits the deck, I want it covered in acid foam. Aye, aye, sir. Mr. Morton, send a detail of electricians to the missile room. I want them to rig all the ultraviolet light they can give me. Aye, sir. Captain's coming aboard, sir. in fine shape. Doesn't seem to be damaged at all. No more signs of the growth. When we left, it was clean as a whistle. But I'm not taking any chances. I'm going to decontaminate anyway. Capsule coming into the lower hatch, Admiral. Well, hold it there until the gear's ready. Sparks, notify Space Center. We're taking the capsule aboard. Aye, aye, sir. The lights are ready, sir. Hit the lights. Everything okay? I'm going to give it a few more minutes of light, then I'm going to pull the instrument package. I kill the light. Shaggy. Aye, aye, sir. Get the instrument package. Okay, Admiral, I don't think the water hurt it any. Uh, get a detail and police up this place. Aye, aye, sir. Lee, as soon as you can, get any gear you may need out of here and seal off the room. We'll put the capsule into quarantine, sir. Maybe I'm being overcautious, but there's too much at stake to take any chances. Now, uh, get the package up forward and prepare to launch the flying sub. Aye, aye, sir. And uh, be careful with it. Yes, sir. You taking it over to the carrier? If I don't, they'll have my hive. Hey, Riley. Hold this. Sure thing, Chief. Be careful. That's precious cargo. Don't worry, Chief. They don't call me Butterfingers Riley for nothing. Give me that. Hey, hey watch it. Hey, Mac. Come here. Hold this. Be careful. Notify the Huron we're coming in with the instrument package and have that lab stand by to examine it. Will do, sir. All right, Chief, let's go. All right, sir. Pass that down to Chief Sharkey. Easy now.
wait, Chip. I'm going down to the missile room. Take her up to the surface and stand by. Aye, sir. Service, Mr. O'Brien. Low ballast, port and starboard. Steady on the planes. Secure the air. Aye, aye, sir. Secure this room as tightly as we can. Aye, aye, sir. Get right. Okay, man. Out. having a little difficulty in his approach to the carrier. Pipe it through the speaker. This is a Huron, Admiral. We're socked in. You'll have to make an instrument approach. We'll talk you in. Over. Not necessary, Huron. We're equipped with a fog-cutting nose camera. We'll make a visual approach on your downwind leg. Over and out. We've never used a new fog cutter. It better work. It did in the lab. Patch in the fog cutter. Aye, sir. Looks like a chance. Yeah, we don't lose the picture. Huh? Hmm. Hang on. So before. Well, neither have I. Do you think it's a nitrogen cycle organism? No, I don't, I don't think so. The fact that it's alive means it's, it's perfectly adjustable to our atmosphere. It's doubled or tripled in size, so it has the power of self regeneration. Incredible. It seems to have the power to grow and shrink at will. There's also some evidence of a central nervous system guiding it. We'll keep it under constant observation. I'll make arrangements to have the capsule brought aboard. Four torpedo hatches jam. Will you guys give me a hand with it?
feel okay now, Kowalski? Yeah. I guess so. You? Yeah. What happens now? I gotta get Mr. Morton. He's gotta go through it too? Everybody on this ship, those are the orders. He's next. I'll see to it. Mr. Morton, sir. We've got some crated stores aft of the missile room that are uh, shifting with the roll of the ship. You better take a look. Go ahead, Jim. All right, Kowalski, let's go. Captain, the Admiral's coming on from the carrier. I'll take it in the radio shack. Aye, sir. Sea view to Huron. Go ahead. Me? Yes, Admiral. Get underway on a rendezvous course with the carrier. We found some life on the instrument package. There may be still some in the capsule, so keep it quarantined. Now, just a minute. The carrier's making 27 knots on course 270. Plot an intercepting course immediately. Will do. I'll see you in the morning. Out. as soon as possible. Prepare to get underway. Surface running, course one, four. Riley, get to your station. I better wait for Mr. Morton, Captain. Riley, when I give an order, I expect to be obeyed. Now get to your station. No disrespect, sir. I'll just wait to take my orders from the exec. What's the trouble, Lee? Riley refused my direct order. He says he only takes orders from you all of a sudden. That's ridiculous. He must be out of his head. Let me handle him. Confine him to quarters and have the doctor take a look at him. Just get him out of here now. Call me if there's any more trouble. Of course, Captain. Get to the sick bay. Uh, Do as I say. I want the doctor to examine you. Yes, sir, Mr. Burton. Right away. Come in. I was ordered down here by Mr. Morton. I see. Some strange behavior on your part, I suppose. Yes, sir. The captain wanted to put me under arrest. Oh, we can't let that happen, can we, Riley? No, sir. Suppose you leave it to me. I'll give Captain Crane a report that'll satisfy him. Thank you, sir. but I don't think you'll have any more trouble with him. I never have before. I'd like to know what's got into him. Stress, Captain, just stress. Keep him under observation. I'll check on him later. Of course, sir. All right, Doc. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, sir.
was Captain Crenn, Doctor? He struggled so violently, he almost died. He's one of us now. Are you sure? See for yourself. Course 130 and head for Santa Barbara. Engine room? All ahead, two thirds. Aye, aye, sir. What about Nelson and Sharkey? I'm hoping they stay aboard the carrier. If they should return, you know what we have to do. I know, Mr. Morton, I know. You know something, sir? I've been thinking about that uh, stuff that was found in the capsule. Oh, so that, Chief. Is it really alive? Oh, definitely. It's, uh, it's some form of life that I've never seen before. <sighs> yeah, you could say that again. Yeah, this power to expand and contract, now that, that worries me. So does its ability to split into various different segments. Yet each segment seems to be under some central control. Yeah, that's, uh, that's bad, all right. Uh, they give us trouble before we're through. Well, sir, I wouldn't worry about that. That carrier guys know how to handle that stuff. At least it's not on the sea view, right? Well, we can be grateful for that. Flying sub to sea view. Come in, sea view. This is sea view. Go ahead, FS1. Estimated time of arrival, five minutes. Have the docking hatch ready to take us aboard. Aye, aye, sir. Captain? What is it? Flying sub just checked in. Estimated time of arrival is five minutes. Admiral Nelson requests docking hatch be made ready. Tell them we're ready to take them aboard. Aye, aye, sir. Mr. Morton, stand by to retrieve. Riley, Kowalski, crack the docking hatch. Captain? Yes? Should we take him as soon as he comes aboard? No. It'll be easier if we do it so that he never knows what happened. Easier for whom? Him or us? For everyone. We can't gain anything by putting it off. I'm still captain of this boat, Mr. Morton. We'll do it my way. Aye, sir.
nicely. Thanks, kid. Everything ship shape, Mr. Morton? All secure, Admiral. You've been keeping watch on the capsule, have you? Yes, Admiral. No for this until I? No, nothing, sir. Good. As soon as we rendezvous with the carrier, we'll put the capsule aboard. How many knots are you making? Twelve knots. Twelve? But the carrier's making 27 knots. Now, you'll never intercept at that speed. I'm sorry, Admiral. I didn't know it was vital to intercept. But I told you that yesterday on the radio phone. Now, bring her up the flank. We can't. You can't? What do you mean, you can't? The starboard engine's been running unevenly. Uh, we um, traced the trouble to a panel in the missile room, and we can't seem to pinpoint it. Perhaps you should take a look. Yes. Yes, I will. Chief, give him a hand. All right, Captain. Steady. Check the coolants, Chief. Aye, aye, sir. Cool and pressure normal, sir. Vaporizing. Vaporizer pressure normal. What about the condensers? Oh, okay. Could be the heat exchanger. Looks all right. Watch out! Devil is everybody. What is that? Has to be that creature we saw on the capsule. The only way out now is through this hatch. We don't have time to get it open. We don't get help. Give me a light. Does it make? The important thing is they're with us and not against us. Why didn't you answer the alarm? What alarm, Admiral? You didn't hear it? No, sir. Sir, be. Hi, sir. to find. But that organism that was on the space capsule, it had us trapped in here. But that's impossible. We killed it before we brought the capsule aboard. No, you, uh, you only thought you did. It was right here in this room minutes ago and very much alive. You could say that again. But that's impossible. Even if it survived the torches, what about the acid bath and the ultraviolet lights? I don't know. All I know is that it's somewhere aboard this submarine. 
Sharky takes them in and starts searching forward. Comb every inch of the boat, but find it. Aye, aye, sir. Come on. Well, come on. What are you waiting for? Get going. Let's start working our way forward. Right. Any luck, Chief? Nothing. I don't get it. We've searched every inch of the submarine. And somehow it's eluded us. Admiral, please don't misunderstand this, but are you sure you actually saw it? Well, of course I'm sure I saw it. So did Sharky. We could have even touched it. Then I'm as stumped as you are. Well, there's one thing I'm sure of. What's that? We've got to be certain it stays aboard the submarine. We can't let it get ashore. The minute we rendezvous with the carrier, I'm going to have a decontamination squad take the ship apart from keel to con. How long before rendezvous? I ask you a question, sailor. We're moving away from the carrier, headed back to Santa Barbara. And what's the meaning of this? How dare you disobey my orders? I tried, Admiral. I tried to make it as easy as possible for you. Make what easy? You and Sharky. You're the only ones who aren't part of... that. What do you mean, Admiral? It means that that thing has taken them over. That's what's wrong with everyone on this ship. Don't fight us, Admiral, please. We're all one. Eventually, everyone in the whole world will be part of one great organism. You mean everyone will be slaves to that? Yes. There's no use fighting it. Take it.
box on the double. Get to them, they can't get to us. It's not good enough. We've got to kill that thing before the Sea View gets to Santa Barbara. But what are you going to do? Nothing seems to stop it. Well, I don't know, but there must be a way. It must have a weak spot, a place where it's vulnerable. Like what? Like, like a heart? Well, every organism doesn't have a heart, Chief. But any organism with a highly developed intelligence must have a central nervous system. You mean a brain? Obviously. Like us, that thing? I don't believe it. Well, I do, and there must be a way of getting at it. Man, I wouldn't want to be caught in there for all the tea in China. Well, maybe I would. Chief, get me a reel of copper wire. Yes. Any luck? I'm sending a team through the ducts. The storage batteries in series. Connect them to the condenser and bring me the lead line. My action. How many have you got? Twelve. That should give us about uh, twenty thousand volts. And this should be enough insulation to protect me. Yeah. From the voltage, but what's going to protect you from that thing? You are. The minute I make contact with the central nervous system, you keep that current going until it's dead. I hope it works. So do I, Chief. So do I. They're coming through the air vents. I'll take care of that. coming from, we'll find them. Come on. Connect the lead wire with the condenser. Right. Part of the 20,000 volts I fed that organism. What was it? <laughs> I don't know. It was uh, some kind of extraterrestrial life with a chemistry different than ours. Well, uh, how did it get to us the way it did? Well, you must have implanted some kind of electrical impulse into your brain. Hmm. Are we cured? <laughs> well, you shouldn't feel any worse than you do after a bad cold, but. As a general rule, we don't cure a cold with a sledgehammer. Or 20,000 volts. Mm -hmm. 